Um, yeah. So the funny thing about this podcast that I do as a hobby is that I never prepare. I'm never prepared. Um, so I had to do a quick brainstorm session to try and figure out what I might be interested in talking to you today. Uh, so I'm also just going to make a calendar appointment as soon as I can to just kind of sit down and brainstorm like maybe 10 to 20 ideas just in advance so that I can pick one and, and go for it. Um, but anyway, hello and welcome back to The Lion's Den. I'm your host Matt as always and I have a couple ideas. I don't know how long either one is going to take. So yeah, I think I'll go with the idea that um, is a little bit more mundane, but might just be weirdly interesting, you know, mildly interesting, hitting that niche. So let's get into it. Habits. We all have habits, right? We all do weird things. We all do sensible things. We all do constructive things that we just kind of have on autopilot, you know? Some people have things that they don't have as habits, like sleeping, that you kind of need to sort out as soon as possible, but I know how difficult it is to kind of get a consistent sleep sh- uh, schedule, schedule going. So, you know, work on that. But um, I'd like to talk about a couple of things that I'm doing currently that I'm glad I've now built into my into my routine in my life because some of them are just um, useful and good for me. Uh, other things are just interesting, but are nice kind of like extra to have on the side. So, um, yeah, the biggest thing that I've probably been doing for a while now, at least three and a half ish years is going to the gym. This is something that takes a lot to kind of get locked in. But once you have it locked in, I think it's quite easy to just kind of keep it rolling. It's pushing yourself further with the gym is the hard part. So it depends what you want and how much determination you have. So the you got to kind of bear that in mind. Um, Yeah, so I go three times a week for the gym because that's kind of all I can really fit in currently and that was kind of the idea from the start is that I'd be a bit of a slow burn so I'd try and achieve my goal of going to the gym to get some exercise and whatnot but I would do it sort of my way and not go overboard because I need to kind of fit it in around everything else so I started when I was at university right so I need obviously to find the correct time so that I can still do my study whilst also going to the gym and now that I'm doing full-time work I also have the exact same problem basically I've got to fit it around my work hours which I've now done and I've kind of got it down to a a good position I think so there's always room for improvement obviously but that's where we're at um obviously it's a good thing because it's just exercise but too it's also helping me personally build sort of my own confidence in my uh in my self-image it's improving literally improving my strength because i used to be very weak couldn't lift anything remotely heavy and now i am i am a little bit better at that so that's good um a slight side habit that i've now introduced which was my sort of semi-goal for the year was i'm learning french (laughs) um i'm doing duolingo that fun terrifying green owl i think he's an owl as far as i'm aware um i do that every day because i'm going for that mega streak boys i'm at like 120 something I'm, I'm doing quite well i've had a few days where i've had to use the whole streak freeze thing because you know you've got those times when it's just inconvenient and you can't ever find like a second to sit down and do it so yeah i think the good thing about it is it's on my phone and i'm glued to my phone because i am a millennial slash gen z i think i'm specifically gen z um but it helps having it kind of really easy to access and again i took the same idea of i want to achieve sort of some proficiency in french so my idea is that i'm just going to do it and it will take as long as it takes so i kind of said to myself you know just do it to kind of keep the streak going some days i'll go nuts i'll do like three four lessons in a go some days i just do one of the stories because they're really quick um but the overall goal is just to progress further and further and further through the program but at whatever rate i kind of suggested to myself maybe five minutes five ten minutes because you know that's fairly easy to fit in i tend to do it kind of around lunchtime you know you just sit down after you've eaten do a little bit of french move on with your day it's quite nice in that regard um the weird thing for me is the reminder that i get consistently is the um the purple headed girl the like emo persona i think and i'm just sat there like no just tell me to do my french lesson i don't need this sassy woman saying to me like oh it'd be great if you continue to streak <laughs> i'm like no shut up <laughs> but otherwise that's been going all right i have tripped up in a couple places my reading comprehension with french is pretty up there i cannot write for toffee i can speak it pretty decently and listening is hard i'll often have to like repeat listen to something three 
four times before I get it because some of the words just slide into one another and then you can't pick them out. So that's awkward. But yeah, it's free. That's the best thing I can say about it as well is that anybody can kind of pick it up and go. I also like the fact that it can be used on multiple platforms and it continues your progress. So like sometimes I just plug it, uh, plug headphones into my computer and then do my lesson on there. And that's great. Obviously there's no microphone on my computer, but I can listen to stuff and I can type. That's so much nicer as well. The default on the computer is you can type answers with your keyboard in English as opposed to having to use the predetermined words because I've made so many mistakes by just hitting the wrong button. I knew the answer. I tried to input the correct answer. I just hit the wrong button. That's literally the only reason I got it wrong. So, uh... <laughs> okay, enough about French. My evening and my morning routine. This is gonna. This is just getting into the really weird stuff, right? Um. So my morning routine is fairly straightforward. So I'm not gonna uh, not gonna stay on that too long. Uh, one suggestion I would have, if it's possible in your scenario, is do all of the kind of washing portions first. So like in a morning when I need to get up and go out of the house in like an hour, the first thing I do is I have a shower, right? Because I need to have a shower before I'm going out to be in public and people, because otherwise that'd be weird. Um, the reason I do so is because the shower length of time is slightly variable like it could take slightly longer it could take slightly less time i don't know it depends how slow i am in that morning so that's the kind of thing that i need as much of a leeway in terms of how much time i've got to do things like eating breakfast i can easily change how much time that's taking i can eat faster i can eat slower i can skip eating certain things or eat things as i'm moving you know that that's my like smart tip for the mornings is do the things first that take the most time or that take a variable time i.e washing my evening routine i am really failing with currently but i do have a strategy that was working i just need to kind of kick myself and get back into it i schedule what i do in an evening now that sounds ridiculous at first uh, like when you first hear it but it's kind of a good idea and it stops you falling into a bit of a trap so the problem that a lot of people i imagine will experience is that you go to work you work for like eight nine hours in a day right you come home and you just kind of crash because you know that you've got a couple hours before you're supposed to go to bed and wake up and do it all over again and you end up just kind of not doing anything productive in an evening like you might just sit down and watch tv or a movie which is perfectly fine if that's what you're interested in but I found that I wouldn't do my hobbies, right? I play guitar, I draw, I play video games and whatnot, and I just tended to not do those in an evening because I was too, like, I'd sit down and go, right, what do I want to do this evening? And then I'd just go, ugh, I can't be bothered to do anything. So what I do is I physically put in calendar events into my phone that then scream at me saying, hey, do this now. <laughs> And that works, or it did work, because yes, you, there is an element of you can just ignore it, but you do also have to be kind of diligent and push yourself to do it, right? But you end up having this scenario where you're then starting to build a habit of it. So, you know, you kind of go, oh, right, it's this time I'll go and sit and draw for half an hour, or oh, it's this time I'll go and play some video games, or whatever. Um, and you end up being able to do more in your evening than you would had you not scheduled the things. And yeah, there's going to be those days when you go, I really don't want to do this. So don't, it's perfectly fine to uh, listen to that initial kind of idea of, I don't want it, I don't want to do it, I would just want to vegetate right now. But 99% of the time, you want to be as strict as you can and keep yourself going, because otherwise, we end up just wasting so much time, and I think that's a real shame, because our jobs, or a lot of jobs, often don't leave a lot of room for creativity, and exploring yourself, and things that you like, so having that opportunity in an evening to do those things is ideal right and you need to take advantage of that so finding what works to make you do that is key and i think you should try <laughs> using the calendar method like i do because it might spark your eye it might spark an idea in your brain to do something else that's more applicable for you maybe it's having someone remind you or maybe it's i don't know making a to-do list and a pretty calendar that you can put stickers on or something i don't know i've I've never been great at organizing my time outside of this calendar trick so the reason it hasn't been working lately is because I've been sucked into playing video games more which to me is fine because that's one of the things I want to do in an evening is start going through my catalog of games so if I'm spending all evening playing games anyway that's fine I'm a little dismayed that I'm still neglecting my other hobbies but hopefully I'll 
figure some way to drag myself out of that. Honestly, I think it's more about maybe booking some time off so that I can actually sit down and reignite my passion for my hobbies. Although, to be fair, I have been picking the guitar back up uh, and slowly reintroducing myself into that. So it's working. It's just about really pushing yourself to doing it. Well, yeah, uh, this is probably not going to be a very great episode. I'm sorry about that. But, you know, again, we can't always be at our peak. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed listening, if you still are at this point in time. Yeah, I suppose I should do the YouTuber thing, right? You know, the like, comment, subscribe, all of that weird stuff. I don't know, it feels very inorganic to me, (laughs) because uh, this is not who I am normally. Anyway, stay safe, and I'll see you all next week. Bye!